adverse event reporting for B products. Why and how to complete an adverse event report for a B product. Presented by myself and Sophie Kennedy. I am a pharmacovigilance assessor in the pharmacovigilance department at the Veterinary Medicines Directorate. In this presentation, we will be covering the following points. Who is the Veterinary Medicines Directorate, otherwise known as the VMD? What is an adverse event? What products do the VMD cover? Why is adverse event reporting important? And how can you report adverse events? So firstly, who is the Veterinary Medicines Directorate? We are an executive agency of the Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, known as DEFRA. We protect animal health, public health and the environment by assuring the safety, quality and efficacy of veterinary medicinal products, also known as VMPs. We monitor and act on reports of adverse events from veterinary medicines, and this does include products licensed in bees. What is an adverse event? So a definition that we commonly use is as follows. Any observation in animals, whether or not considered to be product related, that is unfavourable and unintended, and that occurs after any use of a veterinary medicinal product, both off-label and on-label uses. Included are events related to a suspected lack of expected efficacy or noxious reactions in humans after being exposed to a veterinary medicine. Adverse events can also be known as side effects. They can occur after incorrect and correct use, and they cover events that occur in animals, humans, or the environment. What is a lack of efficacy case? Now, as we can see from the previous slide, the definition of an adverse event does also include cases of lack of efficacy. A lack of efficacy is deemed to have occurred if during the use of the product, the intended beneficial effects have not been observed. This can also be known as a product failure or a partial product failure. Lack of efficacy cases are considered adverse events and therefore should be reported to the VMD if they occur. What products do the VMD cover? Now, as of recording this presentation in October 2020, there are 15 products licensed for bees in the United Kingdom. All are currently classed as AVM GSL, which stands for Authorised Veterinary Medicine General Sales List. This means these products can be bought over the counter from suitable retailers and do not need to be purchased from a veterinary surgery and they do not require a veterinary prescription. A useful resource for identifying which products are currently licensed for use in bees in the United Kingdom and for finding out more information on these products is the Product Information Database. This database can be accessed at https colon forward slash forward slash www.vmd.defra.gov.uk forward slash product information database forward slash default dot ASPX. Some products are licensed by the European authorities, and these will not have a direct Word document link to the summary of product characteristics in the VMD product information database, but will instead link you to the European Medicines Agency website where the product information will need to be searched for. You can access the European Medicines Agency website directly by typing the following web address into your web browser. https colon forward slash forward slash www.ema dot europa dot eu forward slash en forward slash medicines. The summary of product characteristics is an important source of information on a particular veterinary medicinal product. It is laid out in sections which I have put on the next two slides. Of particular note is section 4.6 adverse reaction. This details the adverse reactions which can occur following product administration along with their frequency and seriousness. The frequency is on a scale from very common, which is more than one in 10 colonies treated displaying adverse reactions, to very rare, which is less than one colony in 10,000 colonies treated, including isolated reports, displaying adverse reactions. Even if an adverse reaction or side effect is noted in this section of the SPC, it should still be reported to the VMD, as it may be occurring more or less frequently than expected, or be more serious than anticipated. Section 4.10, overdose, is also of note. 
as it details what can occur if an overdose is administered and potentially how to treat the overdose. This is important as if adverse events occur after an overdose is administered, these should also be reported to the VND. Also on this slide is section 4.11, the withdrawal period. The withdrawal period refers to the minimum period of time from administering the last dose of medication and the production of animal derived products such as honey. Many of the products for bees have zero days as a withdrawal period, but the product should not be used during the honey flow. This is important as if veterinary medicinal product residues are found in the honey, this would constitute an adverse event and should be reported to the VND. This slide shows the remaining headings present in the SPC. Section 6.6 .6 is of particular note as it advises any special precautions to be used on the disposal of unused veterinary medicinal products or waste materials derived from the use of such products. This is important as if the products are not disposed of properly, they can result in environmental effects in some cases. So why is reporting adverse events in bees important? When a company applies for a marketing authorization for a product intended to be sold in the UK, they must demonstrate that the benefits of the product outweigh the risks of using the product. The studies performed prior to a product entering the UK market can be of short duration with a limited number of hives involved. Some adverse events, especially those that occur very rarely, can only be picked up after the product has been used in a larger number of hives. It is therefore vital that you report to ensure that any unexpected issues, whether this involves the hives, the humans administering the product or the environment, are detected. Further actions can then be implemented as required. Some examples of actions could be increased monitoring of the product or adjustments made to the product's SPC. There are currently concerns about lack of efficacy reports in other countries for some bee products. However, we have not had reports of this in the UK, despite similar concerns being expressed informally within the beekeeping community. Without receiving reports from UK beekeepers, we are unable to gather sufficient data to ensure that any issues are acted on appropriately. Who can report an adverse event? Anyone involved with an adverse event case can report it to the VND. Examples of this include the individual who applied the product, the beekeeper who owns the hives, a veterinary surgeon involved in the case, whether they were brought in initially to prescribe the product or whether they were brought in after the adverse event has occurred, or even a bee inspector involved in the case can report to the VND. Adverse events can be reported directly to the VND via the online form, which can be accessed at https colon forward slash forward slash www.vnd.defra.gov.uk forward slash adverse reaction reporting. You can also choose to contact the marketing authorization holder directly. Details of the marketing authorization holder for a particular product can be found on the product information database. If you report to a marketing authorization holder directly, they will compile the case details and forward these on to the VMD. However, they will not include any identifiable information, such as your name or your contact details. It is possible to contact both the marketing authorization holder and the VMD about a particular adverse event. Most of the required fields in the adverse event online reporting form are self-explanatory. However, the forms are designed for companion animal use, so there are some things to consider when completing. A step-by-step -step guide to completing an adverse event online reporting form for bees can be found on our YouTube channel. So in conclusion, please report all suspected adverse events involving products used in bees, including lack of efficacy cases, at https colon forward slash forward slash www vmd.defra.gov.uk forward slash adverse reaction reporting. Thank you for listening. The VMD welcomes any questions that you might have. To ask your questions, please go to www.slido.com and use the event code 96607.
Slido will be open for your questions until Friday the 20th of November. Responses will be published to your questions by Friday the 27th of November. If this presentation hasn't met your accessibility needs, please email director.support at vmd.gov.uk. Thank you.